Uh, you guys all know Barry Weiss, our, our Studio City entertainment guru. And I'm pleased to be associated with the entertainment group, believe me. Uh, something new about the magazine, we're adding four pages for March, and um, we're going to expand our editorial and feature section. And we may have Jack write a special article once in a while. We're not paying him, though. Joe always has something to talk about here. And you know, the only thing I can think of to say, and it's probably something you already know, is it's wonderful living and hanging out in Studio City in this part of the valley. We got great people who participate in a lot of events. I appreciate everybody coming out to the Kiwanis event. Appreciate Jack getting the good speakers and the great food here at Terra Sushi. And that's all I have to say. Oh, by the way, you know who didn't introduce himself at the very beginning? Mr. Carson Schreiber, the president of the club. I will give an announcement because Diane asked me to help her and we're, we're going to have a space for the North Hollywood Key Club for the animals to raise some money. So uh, through Diane, we're getting going and this Sunday, the kids will have a spot. Okay, Norm Lewis here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. It's the busiest time of year. Uh, we have Vic here too, who's, uh, we both tore ourselves away from the from the desk. I guess we'll probably talk about this a bit more later, but uh, about six of us were down in uh, San Diego at a uh, Kiwanis uh, uh, convention, trade show, uh, seminar, uh, uh, Lollapalooza, <laughs> and um, um, it was fun, and uh, we, I think those of us that attended learned a, a whole lot, and we'll probably get into that in just a little bit. Okay, thank you. Okay, here is Miss Wendy Cox. Yeah, my, my, my big thing is when I'm talking to people and they say, I said, well, you're going to come by my office? And they say, yeah, okay, I'll give you the address. So, Hold on, let me get a pen and a paper. I go, okay. It's 12345 Ventura Boulevard. Pretty easy. Anyway, Jack's proud. I'm proud. My mom's proud. My son got a full scholarship to Auburn University in Alabama. War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woohoo! Right on. Okay. They just killed our trees, you know. It's terrible. Terrible, that Bama. Anyway, um, we just got back from uh, Florida where they had the SEC championship, and Auburn had won 14 straight SEC championships. And Florida really wanted it because it was their home pool, and we beat them by 17 points. Yay. Yay. It came down. It, yeah. It came down to the last relay, which was the um, – uh, the seniors swam it, and we won by – we just had to place first, second, third, or fourth because we had enough points. We just didn't need to get disqualified, which they pulled it out. They came out first. Um, my son's a sophomore there, and he came in second in the backstroke, fifth in the butterfly, 100 butterfly, 100 back, and their relay team came in second place, their medley relay team. So we're very proud of him. So next month we're going to Minnesota where it's going to be freezing to Minnesota. Minnesota. I already got the accent down, and um, we're going to compete in the NCAA, so War Eagle, I hope that we win. Yay! Yay! It's very exciting. Thank you, Jack. Okay, Wendy. And uh, this guy's been working so hard tonight, he kind of, I thought we were going to do early. This is Mike. Mike's the owner of Terra Sushi. He's our host tonight. He's, uh, he's been a good friend of mine, a good friend of Barry's, a good friend of Joe's. And uh, he bought this about six years ago now. Yes. He was a partner before. But he also, this is these hard-working Iranian guys, immigrants, <laughs> now U.S. citizen. But he came here. He's told me the story with hardly a dime in his pocket. He got into the parking business, the valet business. And then the fellow that owned this in partnership with Mike wanted to move to Utah. And so Mike bought him out. And he's run a terrific organization. I'm going to have him say a few words about whatever he wants. Mike. Okay. Thank you, Kivanas. Thank you very much. Thank you for choosing your meeting in my restaurant. For me, it's an honor that you are here. I wouldn't think one day I'm going to stand here and talk to the, all the famous people here, you know? And uh, <laughs> yeah, when I came here to this country in 1979, I couldn't speak one word English. And I started parking the car in my restaurant outside. That was my first job. I wouldn't think one day I'm going to be here, up here, talking to you guys. Wow. For me, it's an honor, seriously, honor that you, got, you are here. And uh, I guess, what can I say? It's American dream. I worked very hard for 26 years, saving my money. I could be able to buy this restaurant. 
I'm very happy to have my restaurant. I'm very happy that you guys are here. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Carson, you ready? Are we got any more shout out dollars? I hope. I to, uh, okay. I wanted to make an announcement. You know, this is such a great event, and this is such a fabulous restaurant. Mike, thank you so much. That uh, I would like to, it costs a little bit of money here, and I want to bring up someone who has a great gift for our club, Dio Selena Lorenzo, and she's going to make a great statement. And one great thing about Dio's, in starting a club, you start with charter members. Dio's is one of the founding charter members of our Kiwanis Club. Dio Selena Lorenzo. Thank you, Carson. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was having brunch with Carson, and then he mentioned something about ha having our meetings right here. And so I said, well, I no longer have a child support payment. My daughter's 22, so why not do something wonderful for Kiwanis? So, and then since he men mentioned he wanted to have the meetings right here, I said, I would love to sponsor once a month if we meet right here at this place because I love Mike and I admire and respect Mike so much because I have a similar background as he does and someday I want to be like him. Thank you. And my name is Lydia Floyd and my husband is with us today, Stafford. He just got back from Dubai. Right. Dubai, yes. So talk to him. <laughs> so be sure and ask him something about that tonight and um, we're going to talk more about uh, our conference that we went to and about our key club in a little bit but I just wanted to say I support my Kiwanis members um, I got some great insurance from Carmine over there if you want insurance and I got uh, my paycheck service from Brian who's also a Kiwanis and I used Norm for a CPA and uh, there was somebody else too Jade for photos for my event so I support my Kiwanis members we need to support each other and I love being a Kiwanis so there we go Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Anoush, and, um, and Anoush means sweet in Armenian, so. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you. So um, I, Valley Village, for those of you who don't know, is, a, is another nonprofit organization. It's the si sixth largest nonprofit organization um, in the Valley, and we provide services uh, to adults with developmental disabilities. And this year we're celebrating our 40th birthday, and if, um, if I could ask um, whoever is interested in getting their picture on our Facebook page, come see me. I will slap on um, this awesome badge that I'm wearing. Take your picture and then put it up on our Facebook page. Uh, we, we have our button campaign, so I would love for you guys to be part of it. Thank you. Okay, so I got a couple of firsts this year. I got two escrows that will close in March and a grandbaby due in March, my first one. That's great news. Okay, and uh, Dios, thank you very much. She always comes through. All right, that's it. We're all done. We're done with Studio City. Thanks for coming. We'll see you in two weeks. We're like Bedouins. We're not sure where we'll be, but we'll be somewhere. Do we, we know where we're going to be in two weeks? We could be here. Oh, we could be here. That's right. We could be back here. Anyway, thank you all for coming.